is a wonderful country. I'm very happy here. Cubans, they're, they're very nice. And uh, it's so touristic. There are a lot of gringos here, a lot of Americans and Europeans here. And right, right here, I'm at the old square of Habana. And uh, all the architecture looks nice. And uh, at least here, the touristic parts, they're very well maintained, very well kept. So, yeah, it's really nice. Today's a very hot day. It's about 30 degrees Celsius. It's very sunny today. Here we have the Cathedral of Habana. It's a very beautiful cathedral. And here is the main square we have here. It's very calm someday. It's a very beautiful day here. This city here reminds me a lot of Cartagena, Colombia. It's crazy, but the architecture and everything is very similar to Cartagena. And here from Cartagena, Colombia, I'd say it would be two hours and two hours and a half more or less by flight. So, yeah, the Spanish, they built the cities, their cities with a lot of similarities. There is a very nice museum in front of the cathedral, Abana Cathedral here. So if you guys come here, please visit this museum. It has a nice architecture, nice objects. It has a nice view from here, as you can see. And the best part is here. So you can see the cathedral from this museum and it's beautiful. This is a very traditional transportation here in Cuba, like very locals. See. Well, this type of transportation I am is called almond drone or giant almond in English. These are American cars that roll through the streets of Havana since the 50s of the last century. This is a type of cheap transportation in Havana. Cuba is a living museum for classic cars. After the Cuban Revolution, the United States embargo was erected and Castro banned the importation of American cars and the mechanical parts. We can see these old cars throughout the city. Havana is so full of life, colorful, bright, and always graced with sunshine. All these good vibes are courtesy of the locals, who are warm and friendly. Havana is more than 500 years old. Havana was founded by the Spanish in November 1519 along the natural harbor of the Bay of Havana. The Spanish would stop here whenever they traveled between the New World and the Old World. The Spanish stocked their gold in Havana. For that reason, they protect well this city. And this is the reason why nowadays we can see some fortress around the city and a lot of canals in Havana. When Spain conquered Cuba, a lot of pirates attacked the island to steal the Spanish gold. Did you know that the French army burned the city, but the Spanish rebuilt it? In 1555, Old Havana was destroyed by a Frenchman known as Corsair Jacques de Sors. He had taken over the city by overpowered the defenders. Jacques destroyed the city and burned it down to the ground. He, unfortunately, did not get any treasures he hoped he would get before plundering. He was overpowered and thrown away. The Spanish army was brought in to rebuild the city walls and protect them. Construction of Castillo de la Real Fuerza began in 1558. This was the first fortress built and was supervised by engineer Bartolome Sanchez. After Jacques ruined the city, the Spanish brought their armies to repair the city. One addition to the city was the construction of walls to protect it from invaders. As the city grew, the borders of Old Havana extended beyond the regional walls since the southern and eastern were already stretched 
the city was later expanded to the east through the construction of tunnels. This led to the development of suburbs like La Habana del Este. There are other several broad avenues and boulevards across the city. The Malecom is a beautiful boulevard that stretches to the southwest along the port entrance of Almendares River. The tunnel under the port connects to Miramar. Havana is a hub of a rich and diverse cultural environment. It is made up of the Spanish, Europeans, Africans, and other native Indian tribes. The original native Indian tribe that lived here was displaced during the first contact with the Spanish. Following the colonial years, a huge number of black slaves were brought from Africa. After abolishing slavery in the 19th century, they moved to Havana where they mixed it with white Spanish, black ethnic groups and the mulatto strains. Havana is a very safe city, different from all other Latin American countries. Cuba is safer for tourists. This country has a lot of history to offer. It is not an expensive country. So what are you waiting for visiting Cuba? Book your flight right now and go to Cuba. This is a magical island. Despite of all the problems, the locals live there. This is a great island worth of visiting it. In the next video, you will see more details and curiosities about Cuba. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon.